Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. Today video we are going to like uh, and we talked about Skype, we talked about Teams right here. Uh, today we're gonna talk about Yammer. Uh, you see right here I was into it and I was looking into it. So let's start. <coughs> like I said Yammer was the supposedly Skype replacement but it never picked up i don't know why it was the name or microsoft you know could not push it enough I, microsoft bought it and then <clears throat> i think they just wanted a new product out so that's what they did i have no idea like uh what really happened i haven't followed any news for yammer or teams all of a sudden just like about one or two months ago you know teams was like making rounds and i realized okay if that's the case it's going to be soon very important and that was it all right so if you see admin center the the main admin center they are giving is security and compliance that's always going to be there azure exchange sharepoint and teams and then you know they removed everything from here if you see what all admin center are there are some here and there is still yammer there <laughs> and it says yammer network user policy external network setting features like translation so it's really <clears throat> it, it was more like a social networking type like uh, an internal im thing yammer network and you see so basically what they did is they combined Yammer into Skype and made the team. I see the first check mark if you see exactly the same screen. So it says success and that's this page. They want me to click here and start try try question now. They want me to upload the logo, user add user, set a user policy and write a welcome message. Probably we're gonna go through with all of them, so let's start here. So I love this, uh, what Microsoft has done with the documents, docs.microsoft.com. If you have a, when you're searching, you have any link, uh, show up in the search. If it says docs.microsoft, uh, try to read that. But in case of Office 365, try to read the one that has the latest date. For example, if you have a date from 2018, March 2018, then June 2019, and then finally January 2020, go with the latest one. That will have the most up-to-date information. They still have the old documents there. If you go and follow the instruction, you really have to dig deep because whatever is in that page, it's not that easy to find. All right, so it's a document page, admin key concept, and all that, that, that. I'm not going to read him here let's try this <laughs> no okay that's not going to work so we're gonna click on upload your computer resume see what it takes us okay this the design phase you see we were success and it skipped this one so let's see what it is it says that network colors had been I'm not gonna click on anyone because I'm I like to keep the original uh, or default value so I don't want to click on anything and if it's gonna give me any values there nope nothing so let's keep it right there upload network logo we can upload anything do I have any nope I don't have anything in the documents do I have anything in pictures I don't want to go open those camera rolls what's there nothing save picture nothing <clears throat> all right so or had had her image and you go save let's click save and see what happens your custom network setting have been updated crew let's go back to success and company logo is not checked marked so let's quickly find a logo I'm gonna pause the video here you know what let's do something else rather than to go and find something why don't I go to YouTube and search my channel and use the exact same picture and logo 
<coughs> right so. what is a face learning right there let's go over here this is going to be my logo if I save images and in the dot and this is going to be my header save images save page to pocket page source come on this is my picture I took it and this is my office picture and basically it's a YouTube wall take a screenshot okay okay yep uh, yep download and is it downloaded it is <clears throat> let's go back upload your company logo and my logo is going to be in downloads logo and it's being uploaded unsaved let's get the header image I can hear it's really windy out there it's like almost like a <clears throat> and logo for emails again so I have a Microsoft Office set up I need to remove them <coughs> say they want me to download the app as well <coughs> let's click on that so it stays in the background and save <coughs> let's save it and custom network settings have been saved cool let's go to this again success page and see if we got the check mark yes we did <coughs> the th next thing is add your user to this to their network rather than to go through this I, you see it's basically what's doing it usage policy is going to be in there or not okay so if I click uh, usage policy it's back up there so what I want to do is uh, rather than to go like that check mark I want to go one by one all of them all the way down here so that's how uh, we will have an idea what's going on and what it really is so let's go and su on success page we have all this and we have something here it's the home page if I click on home where it takes me okay I was not expecting it but it's more like an orchid if you remember orchid it's like yeah, exactly something like that they add your friends here and then you your post here and updates everything discovery all and following <coughs> so you can post something questionnaire poll all that the other thing is inbox this will be more like direct messages or private messages uh, you will see in Twitter as well and notification all company create a group and discover more groups so let's go back to and there is a setting button so this is my settings in oh invites so you can actually invite people <coughs> network admin it just take me okay we are back on the page so rather than to go over here <coughs> and start posting as a user uh, let's uh, mess uh, up with the uh, admin sections so that's the network name charter I'm gonna leave it as it the email address is I have dot or at yammer dot com so whatever the email will be sent to this it will come here and then there is the this URL yammer.com slash this 
open link in new window now let's go and open link in new tab so it stays here so you see you see that there was a glimpse of my the header that I posted for a while it was there let's see what are you working on setting up Yammer can I post it no group of people all company let's post it to all okay so that's I and if you click here you see this is SharePoint Yammer upload attaching a file and this is a GIF okay once again when I do that see it was there for minutes for a second let's go back so that's the uh, my uh, URL message prompt what are you working on so if you see this is is this message if I please start typing here and if is there a save button let's save it and I probably have to refresh it let's see if it takes effect right there please start typing here all right network domains domains on this Yammer network primary domain click here to see all network domains okay that's uh, so these are my, all my domains yeah I dot on Microsoft this is the mail one dot mail dot on Microsoft so these are all the domains but will it work if I put uh, the secondary one uh, let's try this one like if I replace the this one with this where does it take me it took me to the same page and you see it changed the uh, domain so basically I am pretty sure if I even if I have used this one it's gonna be the same case let's try <clears throat> and there you go right there back to square one cool this is my networks domain like all these domain belong to me even if I put like username in front of uh, any of one I'm gonna that user gonna get the email as well <clears throat> manage domain it's an article link yep so how do you see is once you click uh, hover over here so it gives you a address here that's how I quickly see uh, should I meddle with that uh, link or not so okay this what's saying is that uh, you don't think that is going to take you to the managed domain page it's just a document that sh gives you the information but uh, to add or remove domain you once you add or remove domain in office 365 it will be automatically updated here so in office admin center there is a domain section I know whenever I go it shows me uh, all domains healthy yeah all domains appear healthy so if I click on domains you see so here it, you see this is my second domain the third mail domain is not showing up here uh, but it should be in mail section I believe in exchange but they are healthy it means they're good and they whatever the settings we did in the very first videos uh, it's still there nothing has uh, changed <clears throat> so the other thing is So your default, whatever you verify in the Office 365, is your default e uh, uh, primary domain in Yammer as well. Email setting require all user in your network to confirm their messages posted via email. So if you remember, yeah, I, I was. So if they send an email to this one, yeah address from their account, then they have to actually verify, yeah, it was me. So if once they log into Yammer, it will be shown them their post and they will be able to click yes yes that's me post publish whatever 
<coughs> file upload permission do you want to give people to permissions that they can attach file we saw here these are the things where it is so you see i can click on it you have to add a group and then it wants you to upload a file right let's try this let's no and <clears throat> so we have three options allow people to upload and attach file in any format that was the first thing only allow people to upload and attach images or video files and the third one is don't allow if i save it and refresh it see what happens over there let's refresh the page you see these are buttons they are still there and if we refresh it they should be gone and they are gone you see all the button so these people they can just post text no uh, all that fun stuff if I change it to any image or a video and save it so I think Yammer and the other thing will up disappear and only uh, let's refresh it <clears throat> and they will be only attach a photo or a video so select file on Yammer so basically they will not be able to post any document we can try that if we have any document here uh, let's click here and screen logo these are pictures this could be a document right CSV now one file failed to upload all right because it's a document it failed let's try if can we post the picture then Uh, let's go with the I want to pitch, post my picture let's see what happens it's a dot PNG it may or may not take it it's right there you can see that's tiny bit let's post it and it's posted cool <clears throat> so we're gonna I'm gonna put it back to a default so enable feature third-party application do you want to allow third-party application or not what they will be is are there any third party SharePoint is Microsoft Yammer is Microsoft so where are the questions Paul I don't see the third party application right now anywhere so I'm gonna it's just like third party application do you want to allow message translation I don't want it's again you write something in uh, let's say Mandarin or Chinese or Japanese or Korean uh, anything it will be translated show tenor GIF search hmm I don't know why this somebody would want to search for Jeff but again a social networking right fetch metadata for links metadata is like uh, a link each web page they have like metadata which defines what that page is about ah this one is the different title summary and preview like whenever you post a link it shows you a little bit of information that's the metadata I was thinking about meta tags I'm sorry system message language is English United States so I hope everything is as it was and click save I'm this video is like 19 minutes I'm gonna sh wrap it up and go on the other ones one by one if this video has helped you please rate like comment subscribe and share you have a good night